Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the series strategy game, and I'm very excited because we are going to start a new series of Unity of Command 2. The game does have a new DLC, the Blitzkrieg campaign, and I want to try that out because I'm very intrigued. This is about the early war. If you don't know about Unity of Command 2, it's a very hard game, and we're going to pick a very hard setting here, Classic, which is in between normal and hard, because that's the thing. Um, and it's going to be very interesting, I think, to try and play that. We're going to play the Germans in the early war, uh, and the game does start us out in a conference phase. So before you go into these scenarios, you can formulate some strategic decisions about what is going to happen in the actual phase. And that is going to be quite interesting. So let's see what we've got over here. Uh, we have three scenarios that you can vaguely see in the distance. I think we can zoom into that a little bit. We're looking at Northern Europe, which I think really is Central Europe. But never mind that. We've got three scenarios, Danzig Corridor and Mlava to Modlin. Both of these are commanded by Harris Group B, so Army Group B. And then we've got the Polish plane that is commanded by Harris Group A, Army Group A. In the first phase over here, in the conferencing phase, we have 200 prestige to spend. That's the in-game currency. And we can spend that on various upgrades uh, to either of these Harris Groupers. So to either of these Army Groups. Uh, you can see we can spend, let's let's go through that. So we can spend $25, 25 prestige, political bonds, whatever, um, on upgrading the range of our headquarter. And I think that is a very worthwhile step to be taking. But let's look at that maybe in a second. We can also look at upgrading the force pool. So the ability to reorganize your forces and get new units. So that would be kind of interesting. We could also get more intelligence, we could get better operations, so more and better attack patterns. We could get better logistics supply, basically oversupplying a unit, um, or we could go into the engineering tab. Now, all of that is going to cost us some political power, which either we're going to spend on upgrading either of these two units, or both of them, or we can buy some cards. Now, in the hard setting, or in the classical setting uh, that we're playing, we can only take four cards, and that is not actually that much so that is going to be a little bit interesting so especially the bomber here might be might be kind of interesting for us to, to pick that would be i think very helpful in a longer term scenario like for example the polish plane down here um so you know what i think that is maybe a good addition it's good it is going to cost us 40 political power so it's not that cheap but i do think it might be useful we could also think about air recon again that's a little bit cheaper but let's look at our army groups first. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to buy the upgrade here for the range because I think the range is going to be super useful. It's also going to allow us uh, to upgrade these units a little bit more because every time you do get experience, you can upgrade the Harris groupers. And basically, you only gain experience from units fighting within your range. Um, and you can only boost units within your range. So I think that just this range upgrade is going to be a huge, huge hugely beneficial thing for us in, in the midterm. So, yeah, I think that's great. What else can we do? Now, I'm always a big fan of in intel over here. So just gaining some intelligence about the enemy units is going to be, I think, very, very useful for us. And I also think that we might just look at the set piece attack over here, spend this, because that is going to allow us some operational flexibility. So, Pretty much we've got a good all-around army group here, I think, with pretty much all level 1 things here activated. Although we don't really have any specialization in level 2. Uh, the next thing that I want to do then is buy this card. It's only 10 political power, so I think that's fine. And that's basically spending all of our prestige. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start with the actual campaign over here. The first thing is we're going to battle for the Danzig Corridor. That's a 5 turn Scenario, and it's the 1st of September, the obsolete German battleship Schleswig-Holstein trained its gun on the Polish position on Westernplatte. Westernplatte. One minute later, it's fired the opening shots of what would become the bloodiest war in human history. Outnumbered, outgunned, and only partially mobilized, the Polish defenders brace as the Wehrmacht is leashed upon them. So, probably not the hardest scenario, uh, although it should be said historically, the skies on the Westernplatte held out surprisingly long. I think they held out for uh, a week, I want to say. And um, while well, pretty much the rest of Poland was crumbling. So brave, brave defenders over there. Um, also, I'm not sure whether the Schleck's, the guns of schleswig Holstein were actually the opening fire, or whether there wasn't a... And I think there was a bombardment um, by some German bombers just a couple of minutes earlier uh, than that historical setting. Right, there we go. 
Our orders are to cut off and occupy the so-called Polish Corridor. You outnumber the thinly spread Polish forces in the area, but be mindful about your western supply line as it's exposed to Polish incursions. The Luftwaffe and Kriegsmarine assets are at your disposal should aid your efforts greatly. Finally, time is of the essence, as OKW plans to divert your mobile divisions east in support of your northern push on, push on Warsaw. So, let's look at the map over here. It's, I think, kind of beautifully drawn. Um, and what we've got is basically the estuary of the Vistula River. Um, we've got Danzig up here, uh, along with the various other Polish positions. Uh, Poland does have these positions here in the middle. We've got a little bit of eastern Prussia. Um, you can see some of these other areas like Königsberg. Um, so this is German terrain that's just protruding here. And then we've got German proper in the area of Neustadt. All of our units are typically division-sized units. So for example here you've got the 23rd German Infantry Division. Has some good attack value, some decent-ish defense value, some movement points, um, and so on and so forth. Now... For the most part, our units do reflect divisions, but some of them are slightly smaller. And you can see the help of a division uh, or of a unit uh, by these little um, dots over here. So you can see normal divisions tend to have seven dots. These guys down here are just a brigade, so they are slightly uh, weaker, only four dots. These guys down here are Grand Struppens, so not really infantry, uh, but not really proper infantry, but more or less uh, just, yeah, border guards. So, that is kind of interesting. Um, the strength is hugely important because it's actually two things. It's the, it's sort of the health points and your attack strength at the same time. So um, both of these scale with the number of pips or, or little dots that you have here. So that's kind of important. You can also see we have some motorized units here, uh, which are gonna be a little bit faster, a little bit better at attacking and defending actually. So these are a little bit more elite. Um, we've also got a tank unit, which is pretty fantastic, because that is obviously going to come in very useful. Now, some of these units do have these little symbols down here, um, and that does mean they have some additional things that are attached to them, um, specialist steps. These guys, for example, do have some artillery, light to felt bits of I-18. These guys down here have some pioneers, that's going to be hugely important, engineers, and some recon vehicles, so that's also kind of nice. A couple of these weak units are also kind of weak-ish, so they only are green, um, but let's see about that. The first thing that we do start with is just the preparation phase, in which we can do various things, but frankly speaking, I don't think we need to do a lot of that. So pretty much the only thing that I want to do then is move up our headquarter pretty much up to here. I think. That's basically it. We don't need to do much more in the preparation phase, so let's jump right into the game and start the actual scenario here. So, what we've got is we've got a couple of air assets over here, and we've got a couple of objectives. Our main objectives are the city of Brugisch, oh Jesus, um, which we do need to take by turn two, otherwise we're gonna get penalized, and then Danzig and Turun do need to be taken by uh, turn four. So, this city here, very early important objective, and that I think is because of it's a rail, uh, crossroads down there, so that I think is going to be the most difficult part of this scenario. Uh, then we have a couple of bonus objectives. Objectives We don't necessarily need to take them, but it would be pretty good if we did. There is the city of Grudzica, which is this one. We should also take it by turn two, uh, but at least we are adjacent to it, so maybe it's going to be a little bit better. We've got the Tutula Forest, which is up here by turn three, and we've got the city of Gudjana, or the town of Gudjana, which we aren't supposed to take by turn four. Let's see whether we can do that. Now, the most important item to me is turn two, Bridia Josh. That is gonna be that is gonna be tough because this is this is fairly far away from where we are currently. So that is one of our main objectives. The other bit that we do need to be concerned about is is supply. A lot about this game is actually about supply. Let's look at the supply network on our side. What generally happens is you've got supply coming in from off map and moving along these rail lines. Whenever you do have a rail line that is connected, um, pretty much everything on there will be supplied. So that's pretty neat and that's pretty great. Uh, we also have some motorized supply depot over here, but that only exerts supply sort of in the vicinity of that. Um, and then we've got some supply coming in via this rail line. So basically rail lines are hugely important to try and capture uh, to extend your supply network and ultimately we probably want to grab this rail line as well as this one down here 
So this is going to be very important. However, we also be, need to be mindful about these Polish guys sitting down here as the objective want us. These guys could cross over here and they would basically cut us off from supply basically all over the place over here. So that is not something that we want to do. We want to make sure above everything else that we're not going to be uh, taken out by these guys. Now we could try to attack them. But as you can see, the prediction here for the combat, which is not 100% accurate, but it does give you an idea. Um, and the idea here is very much that we would lose dramatically. You can see we have 12 attack power here. So that's 4 dots times 3 attack. That's the little 12 up there. Uh, the enemy only has 8 defensive power. So why would we lose? Well, we would lose because we are attacking into some rainy... Uh, so there's bad weather, it's a river crossing, and we are attacking into bad terrain. All of these factors are hugely not in our favor, and that would pretty much mean we would lose this entire unit, losing four, four dots here, uh, without doing any damage to them. So obviously not ideal circumstances, I would say. Similarly, over here, we could try to push these guys forward, but again, it just doesn't really seem uh, like we'd be making a lot of progress against these guys, and... Frankly, I think we are better off at defending. These guys do threaten our lines. Um, let's take, let's make the river to our advantage and simply try to block them from moving in. So they could move in on both of these hexes that are adjacent. So we probably want to cover these two areas. Um, so let's actually move these guys up. Again, notice they could attack, but it would not get us anywhere. Um, these guys over here are a little bit to the rear. Could I move them up? No. Uh, let's speak about mo movement briefly. So usually what you have is this orange movement tile. And as you expect, you can move further along uh, certain infrastructure points and planes are generally easier than uh, forests and so on. But generally you can move with anywhere within this orange area um, and you could still attack. We can extend that range to this blue area here. But if we moved all the way over here, we could not attack. Now obviously down here it doesn't matter um, because these guys are so far to the rear anyway. But they're not going to get into contact with the enemy, so that's fine. We can just as well try to see where we could get without being able to attack this turn. And it's not that far, actually. It's not even down here, which is unfortunate. Right, so these guys are not going to make a huge contribution. Now, these guys over here are probably then what we want to move forward to try to protect our flank. On the other hand, we could just as well try to advance over here and capture a little bit of this terrain. Could I move you forward? You could. Okay, so we've got this covered and that I think is fine. We don't need to do much more there. What we do need to do is push onto this city. Now, I'm going to use my air recon assets because I... Well, I'm pretty confident that this city here is going to be occupied. It's, it's, a, it's one of our objectives anyway. So definitely that will be occupied. What I'm concerned about is how do we get there? We can try to advance just directly on there, but it's an urban terrain, so it's going to be good for good defensive terrain. It's going to be across a, si a, a river, so I don't think that's really that good of an idea. I think rather what we want to do is probably flank around over here. But likewise, I'm slightly concerned about this position here uh, with this little bridge. So. Let's try to scout out what's over here. Let's maybe start over here. And indeed, as we see that in these hexes, there's at least one infantry unit here. We don't know how strong it is, but we do know that there's an infantry unit. So we can't just cross the, at that bridge either. We might have to do that differently. So let's move out the first guys here that are blocking our way. Don't think any of these guys can move up very far. So let's actually send you. I think over here is fine. Then we're going to attack. We're going to take some casualties, but these guys are going to um, hopefully be killed, so that's nice. We do gain some experience. These guys are killed as a unit. They are only left as stragglers here, uh, which are trying to get away from us. So, that is very interesting indeed. Now, what we probably want to do then is try to flank around over here with these tanks. Now... I don't want to move these tanks up to the city because tanks obviously are very, very bad at attacking into urban terrain. Likewise, I don't think I necessarily want to move across the river here um, because that's just not going to be that useful. Although, on the other hand, 
We don't need to be too concerned with you guys. You could attack here because you've got pioneers. So I think if I moved over here and attacked across here, that should be okay because we are crossing a river, but we have pioneers and they are negating any shift in that regard. So let's actually try to do that then. Let's move the tank forward here. And we can attack. And there's no detrimental thing for us. Ah, but there is one thing, and that is we can't use our armor to our advantage. The armor would tend to be a little bit better suited for better terrain. So only really in open terrain can you really, really use armor that well. Do we still want to attack here? I think we might. Okay, let's try to push them back. We did, but we did unfortunately lose our pioneers in the process. So that is not ideal. That is certainly not ideal. And what we can nevertheless do is bring forward our motorized infantry, do a follow-up attack here. We are losing one of these pips in, in strength here, but it's okay-ish. Unfortunately, there are a lot of stragglers over here, uh, which does mean that attacking here is going to be a little bit more complicated. Um, and certainly we do not like complicated. On the other hand, moving into here, I think, would reduce the Polish ability to supply themselves. They've got a source from over here. They've got a source from there, but that's not material for this question. So if we cut them off over here... I think we just might have a chance of reducing the supply that they are receiving in the north. So, indeed, we're going to move this unit all the way to over here, taking some prisoners in the process, which is okay. We are very single-mindedly pushing in this direction now, so that's not ideal, uh, but I'm guessing it's probably what we need to do. Let's also push up with this infantry here, towards the area here of Bujuachi. And lastly, we're going to move you guys forward along this line, which I think is going to be all right. You could attack here, but that just doesn't matter that much. So I think you're going to be all right just moving here. You guys just generally do need to move forward a little bit, which is also going to be all right. And then you guys can sort of advance into this terrain here, which is okay. And that's basically it for the area down here. Now we could do some further attacks, but I think for now we are alright. Uh, let's have a look at Danzig over here. Now Danzig is on the coast, so we can actually use our naval bombardment here. Attack these guys. Hope that we're not going to destroy the city. We have suppressed two of their ha units, which is okay-ish. Let's try to take them out. We've breached them, which is nice. And we can actually take the city. Brilliant. I like it. And I think that's actually a supply source for us as well. So that's very nice. Do they receive supply now. They do, because they still have the rail that is connected up this way. So if we can disrupt them somehow down here, that would be a huge win for us. And I think that is indeed what we're going to do, because this down here is an objective for us anyway. So we could try to attack it. It wouldn't be great, because these guys are behind a river. Let's try to cross the river on this side. Well, there's another unit there. We could attack now, but we do also have a bombardment, so... Let's try to attack them. Two suppression, that's great. They're also considered weak now. And we would have a little bit of a better time attacking. So let's do that. They are fully suppressed now. And that means we should probably be able to take them out by going this way. We are, and indeed we can cross over here. We do get a card because we're capturing the bonus objective here early, which is lovely to see. Um, and more importantly, that should kill all of the... All of the supply that is flowing to the Polish defenders in this northern terrain over here. Uh, which is going to be very, very useful for us. So that's nice. Um, let's do finish these guys off. Overrun. There we go. I think we should be supplied though. Yeah, it might be a little bit um, on the broads, uh, on the on the short side here. This cart, useful. But probably not going to play it right away. Now you guys could move up. And that would not necessarily be a super bad idea. On the other hand, let's try to maintain some flexibility and not move up anywhere. You guys could move on the other side here. Not sure whether that's a good idea though. So these are guys are too weak, I think. So let's keep them where they are. 
suppose what we could do is try to move you guys up. And disrupt the Polish defenders here slightly. Good. Yeah, let's try to get here. I think everyone here is fine. They're still getting some supplies from up here. So these guys should be able to recover some of their units. So even though these are only Grand Truppen, let's actually attack here. Um, we are going to take some losses, but I think that's still alright. Because we've basically reduced that unit and their operational capabilities. Let's see, do we have any unit that has not been moved up? Only the headquarter here itself. I don't think we need to pre-repair any bridges or anything like that. No, there's no bridge to repair, so that is all fine. Do we need to emergency supply anyone? I think everyone is sort of supplied, so frankly, I don't think we need to do any anything with you guys. So we're just going to move you up, actually, towards... Let's say over... Let's say one hand. I think that's fine. Good. All right. That's it. Let's end our turn and see what the Polish uh, defenders are going to do. Going to move back a little bit. You guys are also moving back. That's interesting. You guys are digging in. That is what I was afraid about. Because that is going to make it a lot harder to take these guys out down there in the south. We are getting some items here, but that's that's fine on their side. Um, I suppose what we want to do then is capture this. So let's look at our supply situation. Yeah, we are getting supply up to here. We're getting some supply now by the port of Danzig. But we don't really push any supplies to the area where we need it. So I think what we actually need to do is capture this area up here. And I probably want to cross over here. So yeah, you guys are now over here. That's all right. You guys can sort of try to back them up. That's all right-ish. And yeah, that should actually be very nice over here. So now the supply does flow all the way over here, which is fantastic and lovely to see. Big issue is this is the turn where we need to take this town. And I'm very afraid that we're going to have a hard time doing that. Now, let's see what we've got, what could be used up over here. Now, we've got a single motorized unit. We've got another motorized unit, but you couldn't attack across this this position here. So, that's a no-no. Yeah, it's basically only from these two hexes that we can attack. Could move forward our tanks, but that just wouldn't go get us anywhere, I think. We could come over here and then attack, but I don't think that's that useful. So... I'm mindful whether we could try to use the set piece attack here. It must be in supply. It must have all of its movement points and action points. That's unfortunately. That's unfortunate. The issue is that would allow us to reduce their fortifications there maybe slightly. And that might be very useful. This is this is gonna be the toughest fight down here. Up over here, I think things are fine for now. Oh, down here, things are mostly fine. Yeah, and just getting anywhere over here doesn't really make that much of a difference. Now, the other thing that we could try to do is we could try to do a river crossing. Not weak or green. It has everything. But you're not actually adjacent to a major river. So we don't need that. This is a minor rhythm. Yeah, okay. Fine. Yeah, we are basically not anywhere near in a position to, to try to take these guys out. We could try to do an air attack. That would risk making the city a little bit harder to, to take if it does turn into rubble. Let's actually advance a little bit over here. Okay, we could attack these guys, but... Due to the weather, that would be kind of horrible. And we do have another turn, so maybe the weather is going to clear up next turn. So you guys are fine up here. All of you guys are now out of supply, so that is good. I like to see that. You guys up there are not out of supply. Yeah, you do have a supply depot on your own. Right. What are we doing down here? Well... <laughs> I 
We could try to attack here. It would likely reduce one of their points. Which is okay, but really not, not enough. A straightforward attack is not going to be enough either. Okay, what we need to do is we need to do a set piece attack. Attack these guys. Unfortunately, ooh. Wow. Man, we are more lucky than we deserve to be. Right, so what just happened is these guys were sent backwards uh, by that attack. They were sent reeling backwards there, which is really, really nice uh, because unfortunately the city was put into ruins, which does make it a much, much better defensive terrain. Um, let's move forward in our infantry unit. We are capturing that. We are getting some prestige for that, which is brilliant. Uh, which you really shouldn't attack uh, you guys who just driven out, but not by much. So that's that's fantastic, actually. Really nice. I had not expected that. That's that's really good to see. Okay, next objective then will be Tarun and the Tachula Forest. Now we've moved up some forces here towards the forest, so I'm hopeful that we're going to be able to take that. We've also got these guys up here now. You're not really getting any supply there, are you? But I think you would be getting some supply if we moved you over here. So let's do that. That should put you in supply via the port of Danzig. You could attack there, but let's not do that for now. I think you'll be alright just holding that position. We don't need to be too aggressive about that. So let's try to move up down here towards the city of Tarun, which we can attack. So that's already kind of nice. Would be really lovely if we could get into their rear and cut off their supply too. But I don't think that is going to be a viable thing to do. Right, we need to be a little bit careful because I'm afraid we don't have a lot of supply down here. And indeed we do not. So probably what we want to do then is... Grab some supply from over here or let at least make sure that we have this rail line here um, pretty much connected up. That's good. That should give us all of the supply that we need down there. So that's nice. That probably means you guys can come over here. Yeah, let's move you down there. You could attack now. Don't think we want to do that. That's alright. Yeah, let's move you guys up. And let's actually attack here. These guys down there. We were suppressed a little bit, but only a little bit. So that's not really that bad. Um, and we did reduce their capabilities slightly. We also have a lot of supplies, so that's great to see. And very nice indeed. Um, let's try to move down here while capturing a couple of prisoners. That's lovely. And that does pretty much encircle that unit already. Nice. And we haven't really even used up our tank, so that's, that's brilliant to see. You guys could attack, but it just really would not get us anywhere. You guys could come over here, but likewise... Just attacking this this position here is just not viable, I think, at this point. So, okay-ish. Good. Everything down here is fine. You guys are where you are. So, actually, the next important step is going to be this forest. So, that we need to take next turn. The other two objectives, we can take the turn afterwards. So, let's actually prioritize the forest here. Bombarded with pretty much no effect whatsoever. That is unfortunate. Do we want to play any card? We could, for example... We could, for example, play the Bombers here. That would give us more, but I don't think we need it in this scenario. Let's try to hold off on that for now. And I think that's alright. We don't actually need to move up with the tanks, but of course we could. Is not ideal tank terrain by any stretch of the imagination. But let's move you up over here, sort of in the central position, so that we can move anywhere where we are needed later on. And there's infantry, I think we can just try to send up towards this forest here as well. That's going to be alright. And then you guys, pretty much everything is in range except for these units up there. Would be nice to grab these in, in range as well, though, so. Yeah, let's do move up a little bit. That does put at least you within range, so that's nice. Everyone down here is in range still, so that's good too. Big question is, do we start our attacks down here already, or do we wait a little bit on that until we maybe have a little bit more air support? And I'm thinking that maybe we start this turn already. Yeah. 
Now, these guys actually... Yeah, we actually pro might probably want to start with these guys because they're not going to be there in the next phases. So let's start out with this attack. Then attack over here. It's going to cost us a single infantry, but I think it's going to be alright. And they actually moved out, so that is that is very lovely indeed. Unfortunately, we cannot move in we do, because we don't have enough movement points. But I think it's going to be alright. They're probably going to come back, but at least they didn't get a chance to dig in. So that's fine. Let's go. Oh! We do actually get more units, so that's lovely. Yeah, good. Okay, let's do get you over here. Yeah, we probably wanted, would have wanted to move you back. But that's alright. Let's get you over here for now. And I think that's alright. Okay, next turn. Let's see what the Poles are going to do. Probably going to move back into the, into the town down there. Yeah, of course they are. You guys are withdrawing. You guys are actually digging in. That's really wise. You're protecting your supply lines there. A couple of things happening, but not that important. So let's see what we've got. We've got... I think at least the weather has cleared up. No, the weather has not cleared up. That's unfortunate because the, you guys down here are super well defended now due to mostly the weather actually, so... That's, that's really unfortunate. Okay, these Polish cavalry here are doing really fine. Well, that's annoying, but we do want to take that out by this turn, so... Let's try to do another bombardment here. Yeah, okay, at least you're being suppressed now, so that's great to see. Right, let's... Okay, this is really unwise, but I'm gonna do it. Attack here. We lost some units, but we did suppress them for the most part. Uh, which is brilliant, because that does allow us to... Now... Do we want, maybe you wanna move you up? No. Okay, so let's attack you. Two units lost there. That's that's really not great. Okay, but we did manage to move them out. And that does allow us to take it. And that does give us a free cart here. And 20 prestige. So that is nice. Even though it did cost us quite a bit. So not happy about the losses here, honestly. But I think it's alright-ish. Good. Okay, let's look at the next objectives here. We've got this town down here. We could do an attack over here, but just really, why would we? So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to attack here. These guys. Drive them back. Get into the city. We could try to attack here. No attack across major river. Okay, fine. You guys could try to cross the river? N why not? Aye, because you're not infantry. Okay, that does make sense. But we've got a lot of Polish prisoners, or potential prisoners, down there. That's alright. And we do have this objective up here. Okay, let's try to drive forward you. And get some experience here with you guys. Overrun, that's lovely. Take another time, get more experience. Brilliant, can't take anyone else. That's alright-ish. Right, let's drive you forward. Could actually try to attack there, but I think what we're going to do instead is we can drive up here, get more prisoners. New intel, that's alright, but really not crucial. Right, and then get yet more prisoners. Nice, good, I like it. Okay, you're done for. Everyone else up here is... Oh, I didn't mean to move you, actually, but fine. You guys are all right. You're fine. Okay. That's all right. So that does leave this attack up here. And I think it's all right. We don't... We only need to take it by next turn. Everything down here is, is sort of stable, so we don't need to be too concerned about that. So I guess what I want to do then is... Grab these prisoners. Ah, oh, they're in a different hex. Can I undo that? Yes, I can. That's that's lovely. Okay, I always like it when games do that. Okay, let's move you up all the way over here so that we can attack there if necessary at any point. Then we might want to look at some headquarter actions here. Um, and I think we probably want to transfer... 
the artillery. Now you know what? We might actually want to do a preparation attack here with the artillery. Let's move you up there. Let's move you into here. And then what we can do is do a sat attack next time on these guys. Start to reduce their numbers and so on. And that should be alright. Okay, I like it. Good. Anything else that we need to do? Let's just flip through the units that can attack. Well, of course we could attack now. And they have actually a 10% chance of retreating. Or do we can ask you guys here to move up. Let's do move you up. Just to threaten your supply. That's alright. And you guys. Well, we could get you over here. Yeah, let's do try to gain some experience here. Don't want to do one-on-one -on -one losses, but I think we can start to do a set attack piece next turn. Right, okay. Turn four. How confident are we? You know what? Let's let's play the safe. Let's attack once. And we're losing two hexes here, which is not great. Can we transfer infantry stamps? Yeah, we can. Okay, let's take a step from you and let's send it to you. Okay, that does mean these guys here are going to be quite ready next turn. Right. And we do have some more units that are going to come. Nice. Although I don't really think it's going to be needed, but that's fine. Okay, why not get it down here? Fine. Good. Next turn. And I do hope... Okay, you're digging in really well down there. Which is interesting, but our most important bit is... Operations recovered. Okay, you are recovering some struggles. That's okay. Right, okay. Let's start out by doing a set piece attack here against this position. Okay, suppressing two units and they're actually moving out. So that's lovely to see. Right, we've got our headquarter here. So, can we move up the tanks? Not all the way over there, unfortunately. But we can move up the motorized infantry. Let's move you up all the way over there. And you are within headquarter range. Oh, we are capturing something. What do we want to do then? We can capture various different things. So we can either get more command points on our units, which is nice. We could get better entrenchment, but frankly I don't think we're going to entrench a lot. So I think I'm going to pick the specialization here in set piece attacks, which I think is going to be very helpful. Right, so let's start out by bombarding these these guys, or maybe someone else even. Okay, let's start by attacking these guys, bombarding them, suppressing them, attacking them, cornered. Nice, good, I like it. Anyone else then? You guys, yeah, do come over here, finish off these guys, do get some experience. Nice. So at this point we've got gotten everything pretty much, so that is lovely. Okay, you guys can't do a sad piece attack, and this would just be suicide. I do not want to suicide any unit. You could attack across a major river, but we don't have enough command points because we just did stuff over there. Alright. Okay, so I think that is basically it, and we do not probably want or should do anything else. So let's end this and say that we've pretty much won this scenario. I hope. Yeah, there we go. You are victorious. All primary objectives have been completed and there are no more bonus objectives left. You can end this scenario now. You may also continue for a few more turns if you want. No, we're going to end this scenario here. I don't think we're going to farm any more experience here. Uh, we did take some losses here for infantry, some support. Uh, but we have killed seven enemy units and taken a lot of prisoners. So that is fairly fantastic. Everything was gained. So I'm going to be super happy about that. And that does leave us with two more scenarios. That being said, I think that is a good place to put in a card. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, do leave a like and all of that. Uh, and do very much comment on how you think we've been progressing so far. Because it really helps out on a new series. So, thanks guys. See you then. Bye bye.